which is uh, a golf club and here we are using the frequency response function amplitude and uh, phase plot are shown here and uh, this shows the damping extracted using rational fraction polynomial co-fitting. This is for one of the FRS. These are the results for see the four modes. Now we did that experiment with the cricket bat and the collected data, the frequency response function amplitude and phase plots are shown here. This is the damping extraction using rational fraction polynomial curve fitting. This is for repeating the procedure for one FRS and uh, compilation of results for the three modes. Now we took a bag which is slightly bigger and heavier and repeated the experiment. This shows the FRF amplitude and phase plot, rational fraction polynomial curve fitting. This is the compilation of results for the first, second and third modes for the second bat. So here we have compiled the results for the golf club, cricket bat 1 and 2 for the first four modes and their corresponding Q factors are shown here. So this is the golf club, this is the first bat and this is the second bat for the first mode, second mode and the third mode. Now I'll just uh, open one of the uh, components test data using VMAP and uh, we can go through how the results are analyzed in VMAP for, and how the curve fitting is actually performed and how we get the damping values. So I'm uploading the model file and the test data. So this is the component and uh, there are several locations where the accelerometer was mounted and uh, we do an impact test and we collect the vibration signals. Let's look at the frequency response functions. So this is a complex mode indicator function. It shows there are two resonant frequencies in the component in the frequency range up to 1000 hertz. It shows the FRF amplitude and phase data. And let's perform curve fitting. This shows the FRF and uh, for just for clarity I picked one FRF and I'm showing the results of the curve fitting. So the plot in red is measured data, you can see all these um, uh, variations in the graph. And then when we do curve fitting, we get this uh, plot here in green and uh, both should overlap uh, with each other and the extracted resonant frequency and Q factor are shown here and from the Q factor we can estimate the damping. So I can repeat the procedure for the next mode also. So plot in red is measured data, and the plot in green is what we get from curve fitting. And uh, from the Q factor again, we get damping. 
the slides that I showed, I did not show the third model parameter, which is uh, mode shape. Uh, since the focus, uh, what we want to look at is primarily the damping values. But uh, just to give an idea of okay, what these modes mean, uh, let's also look at the mode shapes. So this is the first resonant frequency, and this is the characteristic shape at which with which the um, component vibrates. This is the second resonant frequency. So this, uh, with this, I would like to uh, complete my presentation, and 